Should I mix my dough by hand in a planetary mixer or a food processor? Let's start from the beginning. I love a handmade dough, especially for you home bakers that are starting to learn the differences in what happens to your dough as it becomes a dough itself or as we're creating our dough. The reason I like mixing a dough by hand is number one, you are really gonna have to work and work and work on that dough to overwork it. So to start out, to understand your dough as it develops and comes together. If you're mixing by hand, you can physically see the dough process coming together, the formation of gluten, the gluten actually working and tightening up until the point that we start kneading and that dough ball becomes a very homogenous, very smooth, nice, uh, supple dough ball. When we start talking about mixers and especially food processors, you got to understand that a machine is doing the work for you. When we use a machine to do work, especially when we talk about dough, it's really important to understand that the machine creates friction. No matter if it's a planetary mixer at your house, like a stand mixer, things like a KitchenAid are very popular, or if you're in a pizzeria using a Hobart. The Hobart mixer is another planetary style mixer. And back in the day, a very long time ago, Hobart actually owned the KitchenAid brand and then they sold and, and they, they separated the two companies. But they work on the same principle, a dough hook spinning around kind of like the revolutions of the sun and the, the planets and all that kind of thing happening. And the bowl is fixed on all of these. So as the dough is developing, you've got that hook spinning around in a circle. Because that dough bowl, I should say, the bowl is fixed, as the dough presses against the side of the bowl, as the hook is kneading it, we're also creating friction. That friction is increasing the temperature of your dough. You have to remember that dough is a living, breathing thing. So that yeast that's inside of your dough is going to love to live in a nice, warm place. The warmer environment that you give that yeast, the faster it's going to work. If you were making a dough similar to how my mother or grandmother would make a dough where they would start in the morning and by the afternoon we were already eating pizzas, that's fine. But if you're going to be taking your dough making to the next level, this is where it's very important to remember that now we want to slow that process down and have the benefits of mother nature taking effect to that dough. We usually will take a dough and refrigerate it in dough ball fashion or sometimes in bulk for 24, 48 hours, sometimes even longer. And the effects on that dough as it sits nice and cold is going to give you these beautiful doughs that are very light and airy. You got to remember that what the whole purpose of kneading our dough is, is to create gluten and that gluten that's being created is getting massaged to a point where it's giving the dough strength to hold these gases. The reason I don't care for the food processor, I'd rather see you use a planetary mixer, your KitchenAid, your Hobart, rather than a food processor is because to make dough, they give you a dough attachment for the inside, which looks just like the blades of the food processor. The food processor is made for chopping. And as that food processor blade spins, no matter if it's plastic for the dough, it's kind of cutting through the dough as it's developing. If you go a little too quickly, what happens is that those nice gluten strands that we're creating actually get severed. And all of a sudden, you'll notice a little bit of a difference when it bakes, that dough will rise and sometimes collapse back on itself because we've weakened the gluten structure. Out of the three, if you're gonna have to pick between hand mixing, a stand mixer or a planetary mixer, and a food processor, my preference would be always hand mix. If you've got the time to hand mix, awesome. If you don't have the time to hand mix or you just don't wanna do it, my next would be go ahead and get yourself a stand mixer at home and use that 
planetary mixer to do the job. Just be aware, I would never mix in a mixer like that for over eight to 10 min minutes. I would never increase that mixer over the second speed because it's just too abusive on the dough and it's gonna warm that dough too much for the dough you're trying to make. I hope that answers your question.